Hi everyone, this is Robin Kessler, the Queen of Frankincense, and I'm going to talk to you today about Qatari, uh, Basuela Qatari. Before I say anything, I want to tell you that it's pronounced Basuela Qatari, and it is C-A-R-T-E-R-I. It's not C-A-R-T-E-R-R-I or C-A-R-T-E-R-I-I. -I. I don't know, maybe somebody slipped, but I decided I was going to do some checking and find out exactly how it's spelled. Because wherever you go, you see it differently. So I went right to the source. I went to my friend... Ali Hazan in Somaliland, and I went to my friend Mohammed in uh, Somalia, and both of them told me it's pronounced C A R T E R I. It's spelled that way. Then I figured, okay, that's two. So I went to a few of my other friends that live in Somalia and uh, Ethiopia and. Uh, Somaliland, and I asked them, and they also said it's spelled C-A-R-T-E-R-I. So I went one further and went to Bus Wellness, who, sell, who distills resin in, uh, from Somaliland, and they also spell it C-A-R-T-E-R-I. So I don't know if somebody slipped and just decided it looked prettier with two eyes. But that's not how it's spelled. So now you know exactly how it's spelled. We're going to talk about Baswali Katari, which is one of my favorite resins, frankincense resins. And uh, it is a wonderful uh, resin. It's part of the Bussera family of frankincense. And... Uh, it comes from Somaliland or Somalia in Africa, and it grow, It can grow in the Cow Meadow Mountains in Somaliland and on the border of Somalia also. It contains a high percentage of alpha pinene, and this type of chemical is very anti-inflammatory, anti-microbial, their yeah, microbial and it's also antibiotic anti uh, it's very antibiotic it's not antiviral so those who think that it's antibacterial sorry those who think that it cures this virus no it does not neither does the essential oil it doesn't cure it nor does it treat it, nor does it help your immune system to fight it. The only thing it will do is help alleviate some of, maybe some of the symptoms that you have while you have the virus. But that's about it. Believe me, I live around frankincense all day. So, and I'm still uh, quarantined to the house. So, I would not take the chance of having frankincense cure me or help or help my immune system divide it. Frankincense uh, contains boswellic acid, and uh, frankincense comes in many colors, and I'm going to show you the different colors that it does come in. And uh, it has an incredible smell that's very similar to perfume. Actually, it's used a lot for perfume and uh, used in perfume blends and a lot of uh, formulators that make perfume will use Katari in it. The, uh, it is excellent and I mean excellent for any type of skin condition. It's one of the best of all the frankincense resins for skin conditions like eczema, dermatitis, uh, some people use it on for diaper rash, any uh, type of skin condition. It also softens the skin. 
the women, I spoke to a couple of the women in Somalia, and they actually make a paste of it, and then they put it on their face as a face mask, and they say it makes them feel like they're 30 years younger. Maybe I should try it and see if it actually does that. But I have used it in infusions, and it does make your skin feel much nicer. It was also used, it's interesting because when I did the research on it, in ancient Egypt, they actually used it for makeup. So I guess what they did is they burnt it and took the remains and used it on their, used it for mascara, which is very interesting. I don't know why they would use it that way, but they did use it that way. It was also used for embalming the dead, as was myrrh used in, uh, in Egypt and all across uh, the ancient uh, Arab nations. The uh, Chinese use it a lot in their churches, and they also use it in their formulas. So, as I said, it's wonderful if you infuse it, if you burn it, and uh, you can actually tincture it also. So I'm going to show you the grades. There's three different grades of, uh, of Qatari. The first grade is basically the, uh, it's with a lots of bark in it. And that's basically how it comes off the tree. They stripe the tree with this certain pick type tool and it bleeds this liquid and when this liquid hardens that becomes the resin. The liquid is actually used by the tree as protection. So if the tree finds that it has a, a boo-boo on it, let's say, it will spit out this resin to cover the infection and and take care of it. Uh, also, it uh, can help with uh, if the if a mosquito happens to uh, attack or a bug happens to attack the tree, then what happens is the same stuff comes out, puts it all over the uh, all over the tree, and hardens. And what happens the uh, bug or whatever is attacking it gets caught up in it and gets basically crunched and crystallized. So, uh, so as I said, when it comes off, it comes off, and I'm going to try to show it to you. So, when it comes off, it comes off looking just like this, with the bark and with pieces. Now, I'm not saying that this is bad, because the bark alone has medicinal properties in it also. But this is basically more bark than uh, resin. There's hardly any resin in this. Then there is second grade. And second grade looks like this. It's much darker because it's basically the way the sun hit it or how it dried, and it's darker, and it has some, a little, uh, has some bark on it, not a lot, but it's much darker. So you can basically see how dark it is. Still smells like Katari, but not as strong. The bark hardly has any Katari smell in it at all. You're smelling mostly bark. And then there is the first grade. And the first grade and all Katari comes in many colors. It can come red, just like this one. And it could come what they call black, which is darker. And I picked up bigger pieces so you can basically see it and then it actually can come let's see if I can turn around it can come white like this 
and it could come it can actually come like this which is green so it could come all different colors so when you get it and usually don't get it this big but you usually get it you usually get it smaller in small smaller pieces let's see if i can hold up a piece you can get it this size or a little bit bigger it'll come like this in a mix i usually send it to you in a mix so that you get a little bit of everything but when people say well this is very rare no it's not it's the way the sun hits it there's nothing rare about it both of them smell identical both of them have the same properties in them the only difference is they look different color but they burn the same they look they smell the same they only look different so if somebody pulls out sits there and pulls out all the red and says you're buying rare red Qatari it's a lot of bull because you're not getting rare red Qatari they're sitting there pulling out these pieces and they're telling you that they're rare. They're not. You, I can pull out a whole bunch and give you red. And it's not going to make any difference than this one. Because they both have the same exact chemical properties. And they both smell the same. So there is no, there is no difference. And if you get the... i got to put it down a second. If you get my book, my frankincense book... It talks all about Qatari in here, the different grades. It gives you pictures, and the book also will give you every, uh, all different resins and their history and everything about them. And then, of course, if you get into it, it will give you recipes, all kinds of recipes on how to make it. I will put in the comments the website where to get this and where to get my resin as i said i sell quality resin and i only sell first grade because i want the best and i sell it at a at the same price as the least expensive because i'm selling quality and i want you to get the best of both worlds and not have to spend a fortune for it so I hope you enjoy this video. Please stay safe. Have a good evening and take care.